Welcome to our lecture online. So now we're going to take a look at potential difference using the methodology of calculus to calculate that. And the difficulty or the confusion comes in is with the signs. So we're going to very carefully lay this out. And first of all, let's look at it um, logically. Let's say we have two capacitor plates. One side is positively charged, the other side is negatively charged. The electric field is directed from positive to negative. And so that means then that on the negative side we have a lower potential and on the, on the left side here, on the positive side, we have a higher potential. And that simply makes sense. Positive is, is associated with higher potential, negative, negative is associated with lower potential. And since the electric field strength between the plates is 500 volts per meter and the distance between the plates is 10 centimeters in this example, then all we have to do is multiply the strength of the electric field times the distance to get the potential difference. The difference is 50 volts. Now it's an increase in voltage going from zero to here from the negative side to the positive side, it's an increase of 50 volts. And going from the positive side to the negative side, it is a decrease of 50 volts. That's how we need to look at it. So how do we calculate it using calculus? Well, remember that the change in voltage is equal to VA minus VB. If this is defined this way, we can also define this VB minus VA, but it all depends which way we want to travel. In this case, we want to travel from B to A, so it's the voltage change, the change in voltage, when we travel from B to A. That's what we're trying to calculate. So by definition, the voltage difference, the change in voltage traveling from B to A, is equal to the integral of the dV going from B to A. Or it is equal to the negative integral of the dot product between the electric field and the direction of motion, dot dl. So we're going to, now assuming that the electric field is, is variable, we of course make this product with every little dl and we add it all up. Now, if V is, is a constant, like in this case, for simplicity, then of course we could take E outside the integral sign, we're just integrating dl. But nevertheless, this is how we must do that. Notice that the direction of E is to the right, and the direction of dl is to the left. So they're in opposite directions, that means that the angle between the two is 180 degrees. So notice we already have a negative sign in front, that's part of the definition. So now, when we take the dot product, that becomes the magnitude of E times the magnitude of dl times the cosine of the angle between the two. But now the cosine of 180 degrees is a negative 1, and a negative 1 times this negative 1 becomes positive, so that then becomes the integral of the magnitude of E times the magnitude of dl going from B to A. Now, since E is a constant, we can take that outside the integral sign, 500 volts per meter, and so we have the integral of D dl from B to A, and the integral of dl is simply L, and here comes the confusion. You say, well, I'm traveling from B to A. Am I not traveling to the left? Am I not traveling from a higher, uh, a higher value, value in distance to a lower value in distance? But that's where the confusion comes in. That's not the case. Remember, it is the magnitude of the L and therefore the magnitude of L. And magnitudes of vectors can never be negative. They always need to be positive. So we're looking for the magnitude of the distance, not the direction of the distance, because we already took care of that by doing the dot product and converting this into the magnitudes of these two with the cosine of the angle between them. So that means that when we integrate from B to A, we seem to go from starting point to ending point in magnitude, and therefore this is the height minus the low, or 0.1 meter minus zero, times the electric field, giving us a positive 50 volts. And that makes sense, because we're moving from B to A, we're moving from a lower potential to higher potential, and we expect a positive value to come out of it. So it's very important that when you use calculus, and you use the, the equation where the difference in potential is equal to the integral, going from the end point to the beginning point, right? I want to know the difference traveling from B to A. It's E dot DL. We turn those into magnitudes times the cosine of the angle between them. That takes care of the sign, the direction of motion. This negative sign, if they're in opposite direction, will cancel out this negative sign, and we end up with a positive change in voltage. And that's how it's done.